What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest reselection remix from on this device. And let me remind you that the video I did on the Redmi K20 Pro was the reselection remix version 8.5.7, this is 8.5.8 .8. and the Redmi K20 Pro 2 also received this 8.5.8 .8 update and if you have not updated it, let me tell you, you can directly flash the latest build with gapps and if script disabled on the Redmi K20 Pro of course and you can just reboot if you are already on the same ROM, you can just do that and it will like update your ROM manually. So make sure you do that. But here I have clean flashed this Restructure Remix 8.5.8 .8. and if you have not seen the flashing guide video, I will recommend you watch that flashing guide video for the Redmi Note 7 Pro from here and just flash the gapps because let me show you here as you can see gapps and firmware are not inbuilt so it needs the gapps and firmware so i'll put all the links in the description box below do not worry so just flash the firmware file and the rom file then gapps file and you can reboot and here as you can see it says open gapps is recommended so from open gapps website i have used the arm 6410.0 nano version now let me show you the stock launcher quickly well i have been using a default wallpaper over here if you are curious about this red wallpaper and to the left of this launcher we have the google's discover page now let me show you the launcher settings this is how it looks like and if you're really curious this is the trebuchet launcher as you can see i'm using well do not flash micro gfs because it will like f up your trebuchet launcher or something so i will definitely recommend you flashing the nano version of the open gfs and here we do not have those kind of features like double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen and stuff but we have one interesting thing that will be this hidden and protected apps. So let me just go into it by tapping the fingerprint scanner. You will see all the apps from right here. I have locked this Google's recorder app over here, which I downloaded from Play Store, of course. And here, as you can see, let me open it. And here it says I have to enter pin or use my fingerprint scanner to unlock the app. So that is really cool. Let me just tap the fingerprint scanner and let me show you the app unlocking speed. And as you can see, I tapped the fingerprint scanner and it unlocked. So if you want to hide this app, you can just tap over here. And as you can see, it did that animation. Right now, the app will be hidden. This recorder app is locked and others are unlocked. So you can just tap just like this to lock any particular app from here. So this is a very cool thing about this trebuchet launcher. Now the widgets and stuff on the home screen are working fine. Swiping down gets you to the notification panel or the quick settings panel and swiping up gets you to the app drawer. Now on the quick settings panel, this is how it looks like and there are some pretty interesting things. Let me show you. If you edit and add more toggles, you will find a lot of options as you can see. Okay, so the screen recorder is actually there. As you can see, I have added the screen record just right here. And there is also the FPS info, so I have added that too. So let me show you. This FPS info was not there in the K20 Pro's restriction remix, but right now it's there. For this, I think it will be there in the 8.5.8 .8 for the Redmi K20 Pro 2. And on the Note 7 Pro 2, we have this FPS info. And as you can see, if you are noticing the top left, just right here, you will see the FPS showing up. Now, let me show you the screen recorder. This is pretty much the same screen recorder which was there earlier. And you can record videos up to 20 Mbps on this screen recorder. And you can have the audio source as internal or microphone audio. And this is how the Android version section looks like. and Pretty much you can see this is based on Android 10 of course and here we have the Resurrection Remix build name as this like 16th August 2020 8.5.8 Resurrection Remix OS Q version and this is the official version of course and of course again this is the 16th August 2020 build here it is mentioned again and if you notice the security patch is latest of August 5th 2020 then we have the kernel version as this Azure Perf Plus kernel. Now in the system panel again we do have this system updater. I don't think it will work just right now. And in the gestures we have the system navigation gestures. From where let me show you, you still get these kind of settings where you can adjust the gesture bar size, this navigation bar size and thickness and stuff. So you can adjust the size and the thickness both over here still and you will have a lot more customizations over here too. So that is pretty cool. Now let me show you earlier i did not show you the classic section of the customization 
So in the restriction tools, if you have seen the K20 Pro's restriction remix customization video, you will see that the customization panel is kind of like has like vertical and horizontal both scrolling, which makes the things a little bit complicated in my opinion. Right now, I just want to change this dark theme background to pitch black, let's assume. So where do I go from here? So right now, I will go to this interface. And as you can see, the background has some kind of blue-ish tint. I don't know if you can actually see it. But yeah, this dark theme also has a blue-ish tint in the background. It does not have pitch black kind of thing, by default at least. You will go to this resurrection theme section. And from here, you will see this dark theme is enabled, of course. Now, you will see the system theme section. Here we have stock, solarized dark, baked green, then choco X, pitch black. Let me just enable the pitch black quickly. And as you can see, the background just totally turned dark. And here we have dark gray, material ocean, restriction clear, and charcoal black, etc. You can also use this with the restriction clear. But I think the pitch black is the most like useful thing. Currently, I'll just disable the dark theme for the time being. Now here we have the header style. You can have it on black, gray, and light gray, and transparent. Then we have the accent color picker from here, from where you will have the gradient color kind of thing, like this customization that you can do everywhere. And as you can see, we have this gradient over here. Now let me just go back. Here we have the preference switch style. You can change the switch style to anything else from here, the toggle style in the settings and stuff. And here we have the quick setting style and you can of course change this to anything. Like let's assume this hexagon. And here as you can see the quick setting panel changed to a hexagon. So you can change a lot of things like even headline and body fonts. Plethora of fonts are present over here too. Then we have the icon shapes and stuff. Then we have status bar icon etc. And the status bar height is there. You can have the height to like large size if you want that. Now we have the UI radius. You can have it to large size too if you want that. Now I have shown most of the things in the like customization video. If you haven't seen that, you will find it in the cards right here, which I showed on the K20 Pro. The customization panel is mostly similar to this one, but yeah, there are some little bit of differences there might be. So let me show you, we have this like lock screen settings and here we have the clock style and stuff. You can customize the lock screen clock from here, of course, like you have thorough customizations over everything like this lock icon and stuff you can disable that and here we have the lock screen timeout too so that is pretty cool custom notification count option is there then media cover art and stuff is there but let me tell you there is no always unlock with the figment scanner feature over here now we have this figment settings over here we have the vibration authentication and error vibration but as i just said no always unlock with the figment scanner and on the customization tool i have changed this to the classic view just because it just involves like this vertical scrolling there is no horizontal scrolling everywhere you go you just need to do vertical scrolling and you can find almost everything else like let's assume i want to uh, enable this brightness control and right now i can just swipe on the status bar and adjust the brightness so you can just go to anywhere and customize everything there is the system icons like the wall icon and stuff and we still have the wall icon appearing as one two three four five six and here we have the show 4g bluetooth battery stats notification count etc like a huge amount of customization that just does not end simply with this restriction remix rom this like status bar icons clock and date network traffic notification ticker everything is there then inside panels we have the quick setting panel header customization volume panel customization and this is how the volume panel looks like again and as you can see you can adjust the like volume from here just like this and the like expanding thing looks pretty cool okay so i just enabled show panel on left let's see okay so it still works as you can see and you can increase the timeout so that the volume panel just stays there for some reason if you want that and again you can disable the screenshots or sound three finger screenshot gesture is there and let me show you this is the asus kind of screenshot where you get that long screenshot edit and share and delete option and from this panels customization let me just go into it and inside quick settings i have enabled this replace clear all with the text and stuff and here i have enabled this rgb mode so <laughs> let me show you what this does and again i have changed some things like tint icons to rgb and stuff and i have changed this active level tint to rgb and these things now the quick settings panel if i just go this just goes crazy as you can see from here you will not find this in any other custom rom pretty sure 
but here here you can find it the full quick settings panel does this kind of rgb on the quick settings panel so that does look really cool but i don't know how many of you guys will use it on a daily basis but yeah this is pretty colorful and here as you can see we have the clear all button for the notifications and stuff so you can just clear all from here if you enable that option again this is the replace clear all button which i have enabled and right now i can just tap over here and it will clear all the notifications right now let me just go into the display settings this is how it looks like we have this theming option over here again and you can add a custom theme just like this and you can go to the accent color picker again from here let me go back inside clocks we will find these many clock customization and it just does not end again as you can see plethora of clocks presets over here and in the wallpaper section we will get these many on device wallpapers of course the live wallpapers are not here there is a screen timeout in the display settings and full screen apps are there if you want that then we have this double tap to wake and pocket detection too so that is pretty cool let me go back we have the battery settings showing up just like this and the battery life should be pretty good you will have pretty much seven to eight hours of screen on time with every charge and it does support fast charging here as you can see the charging cycles it shows up then it shows the battery capacity and stuff which was not the case earlier version i guess and the temperature and stuff does show up then screen on time then battery manager battery saver thermal profiles etc if you want to see the full usage you can just click on the like top part over here where it does that animation and you will go to the full usage of the battery section now in the sound settings we do not have the me audio direct for some reason here but let me show you we have the audio effects so you can use the audio effects but we do have this vibrate for calls option then we have some other sound settings like screen locking sound charging sound etc charging vibration and stuff everything you can enable or disable there is also this violet parts where you will find the me audio direct and here as you can see me sound enhancer is enabled and i have like turned it on with the youth edition and this is working totally fine even like if you have the audio effects turned on it won't matter with the me audio direct 2 it will work the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well over here is great not a problem with that now let me show you the security settings here we have the fingerprint and face unlock so right now let me just show you the fingerprint scanner speed first and it unlocked let's try it again unlocked now let's try it with the right hand's index finger and as you can see it unlocked so the fingerprint scanner speed is great it's not a problem now let me just quickly set up the face unlock well this wire is just on the way i guess okay now let's just double tap on the screen and as you can see it unlocks let me double tap on the status bar double tap on the screen to wake and as you can see it unlocks again let me show you the speed again and as you can see it uses the face unlock it is very fast not a problem here now the only disappointing thing that i would say here is the stock camera which is this old cyanogen mod kind of like camera over here and this camera works fine it is good and you can also switch to the front camera and stuff and as you can see the quality i would say is not that great but yeah you can definitely use it for basic stuff and i would say you can flash a next camera too if you want to but yeah this is the camera that you get by default over here and you can use it of course if you want to and this is the snapdragon or cyanogen mod camera again you can also install google camera 7 and stuff i'll put all the things in the description or cards do watch that from there if you want to install google camera and a next camera too for that matter now this searching panel over here on the like app drawer that i like you can search for any app just like this so that is pretty cool and as you can see it shows the dnv info as level one so that means you can use netflix or amazon prime in 1080p here and it passes the safety net test so that means you can use banking apps right out of the box on this rom so you won't need to worry with setting up your google pay or paytm on this rom and i have also tested with this led rgb remote app and if you are noticing it does work it does give a signal with the like ir blaster over here so the ir blaster should work fine now let me just open some of the apps and show you guys the app no speeds and the ram management over here and while i'm doing that let me tell you i have heard some somebody said like in some roms pubg is working better for redmi note 7 pro or something 
well that just does not happen it can run like good or bad with any rom with any update and with any kernel i would say it depends on a lot of things and it's not like on this rom it works so good that it does not work on other roms i cannot simply buy that thing and i would say like with all the roms the optimizations are different overall with like with same kernel in two roms you will get different performance so that is one thing to mention over here and pretty sure it's not like if one rom can give uh, like better performance other roms can't well all roms are pretty much good that is why i do like separate videos for each roms and i would say the performance just depends on a like hell lot of things what rom gives you the best taste for you so everything is different for every rom that's what i feel and here in terms of performance and stuff i would say if you play pubg a lot or if you play call of duty a lot i would say try other roms too and you will see why i am saying this because in most roms the performance varies and it's not like in one rom the performance is great so that in the next build too of the same rom the performance will be great it's not like that the performance just changes with every build on most roms yes i know i am biased to the evolution x rom and stuff but yeah in my frank opinion you should try out other roms and see what like fits your taste so my motive of saying these things is that there is no one single custom rom that will like be good for everyone it depends on everyone's taste and everyone likes different roms that's the reality so here as you just saw all the apps do stay in memory so not a problem with memory management over here at least i don't think there is a problem with the memory management and all the apps do stay in memory and every app of speeds and stuff is super fine no issues with like memory management or app of speeds here on this rom and here are the and to do and geekbench score for this rom i would say for daily driving performance and stuff resurrection remix is here to stay and it has a huge amount of customizations if you are someone who loves customizing things you will definitely like need to flash this rom and try it out for yourself so that wraps up this video guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tiro from kerry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now